What the fuck? <laughs> All right. For those of you who aren't aware, Britney Spears' new single just came out yesterday. It's called Hold It Against Me. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to hold this one against her. Why? Because Rusko produced the track. And of course, it's dubstep. So Rusko was keeping in contact with Britney Spears' record company or whoever manages her, and he ended up producing this song and I'm supposedly some other songs on the album also. My main issue is that, you know, Rusko really popularized dubstep a while back ago. Like, techno is really just exploding in general right now. It really was never mainstream. Two years ago when Akon and David Guetta released Sexy Bitch and that one was on the radio, you know, like, that really popularized house. It really almost made it mainstream. In fact, it is mainstream now. There really is no other way to categorize it. You can't just make, you know, all these subgenres so popular, like, so fast. You know, that's really, I would guess, how, like, Land Metal died, for example. You just can't, you can't put it out there so fast like that. Otherwise, it's just going to be completely burnt out. Yeah. I mean, really, that's how 90s pop is just dead now. I mean, somehow Britney Spears survived because she's leeching off, like, the other subgenres now. But, I mean, really, it's just not all right at all. I mean, I'm a producer, and everyone's, like, saying, oh, it's not dubstep, relax. You know, no, it is dubstep, because I produce my own stuff, and I know I'll wobble simple with everyone. So, really, I'm just like, ooh, well, what do I do now, you know? Like, there's a bunch of really emerging artists like me who are just trying to get up there, and now we really don't know what to do, you know? Like, no one's going to buy our stuff when they can buy Britney Spears, you know? And it's not gonna end here. Tomorrow we're gonna have like Rihanna dubstep. Later? Later? We're gonna have Justin Bieber dubstep. Man! Is that what you want? I don't want that. That's not fair. Yeah. Rusko, why? I don't understand. Like now you're all of a sudden to, like tweeting to people like, oh, I didn't produce the track. I didn't do it. Clearly it was you. I mean, no one else would have access to Britney Spears management like that. There's nobody else who could do it. I couldn't walk in there and be like, oh, I make dubstep and I produce Britney Spears. No, it doesn't work that way. So clearly it was him and now he's just denying it. It's just like, oh, he's denying it. He's wiping ass now. You know, like, Rusko really was the guy who got me into dubstep. I'm sure a bunch of other people are that way also. But now he's like, he's killing off his own genre that he kind of created. I don't know what to think of that. It's just kind of a slap in the face to all of us who are just along for the ride, really. You know, and the truth is, like, you know, I don't really completely hate Britney Spears. I don't even hate her at all, actually. The song 3 and the song Womanizer, they're not bad songs. They're pretty catchy. And now everyone's kind of just getting upset at me, like, oh, your underground stuff isn't cool anymore because it's mainstream now. Oh. I really don't mind that much. That's not the issue here. I mean, when Avenged Sevenfold really became more popular and they made it on the radio with their third album, City of Evil, I didn't really care that much. I was happy for them. Just a shame. It's just like... You know, you used to go in like the parking lot of your school and like blast up said people just OH MY GOD Oh my god. You know, it's just like it's just like, you know, having like a Beatles haircut like in the sixties, you know, it's just one way for another guy to tell another guy, you know, like, I know what's up. I know what's up. But now the genre's just kind of had it. It's gonna go down here in a little bit, unfortunately. We're gonna start stating that I'm really ignorant with what I'm saying. In fact, maybe even come across as conceited, but um not really, there's a lot of truth to what I'm saying. I mean, history really repeats itself. And it's gonna repeat itself for this genre too, unfortunately. So, yeah. I mean, go check yourself! <laughs> Yeah.